official Mr. Chris Mother. Introducing first in the quarter to my left. First, fighting out of Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, this is Jody DeMilo. Her tag team partner, fighting out of Sin City, this is Jesse K. And their tag team partner, fighting out of College Station, Texas, Uncensored Rumble a couple months back, and Jesse K did a very good job at the Secret Show, so they've all been invited back, and now we see him in six woman tag team competition. Yeah, all these competitors proved at the Uncensored Rumble that they can compete with the upper echelon here tonight, and it looks like Bale and DeMilo are going to start it out for their respective teams. They've got a bit of a budding rivalry that they're looking to renew here tonight. Milo, though, she definitely has the power and size advantage against Bale. I think you could say that about all the competitors on her, on her team. Oh, definitely. Both of her, both her partners, Barbie Hayden and Jesse K, certainly much larger in stature than Santana Garrett or Jules Malone. Yeah, but Santana Garrett's got that power of the hair. Hey, the headband seems to be the source of her energy, which, which also seems to be boundless. <laughs> Got her sight set on Jody DeMilo in the corner. Building momentum with that cartwheel. And catching her with the elbow. Handspring back elbow by Santana. Trying to Irish whip the larger lady, but it didn't pay off for her. Maybe trying to lure into a trap. Yeah, I think she suckered it in right there. And now it's Jody DeMilo, unfortunately, one step behind. Gets taken down with that head scissors. Quick tags by the new tandem. New six, three well, I mean, this is the first time, to the best of my knowledge, that Santana Jules and Zandra have ever teamed together. So certainly a new team. Whether or not they will remain that way, obviously yet to be determined. Uh, I think a lot of it will probably have to do with their success or failure here as a combination going up against Jody DeMilo, Barbie Hayden, and Jesse McKay. Right into, uh -oh. excuse me, Jesse K. Come on, man. My bad, my bad. It's all right. And right now DeMilo though, choking out the hardcore princess with her foot, attempting to get a pinball attempt at the same time. Now just toying with the Canadian-born Hardcore Princess. Samoa oh. drop, huge impact. Driving on her spine, making the oxygen leave her body with that force. Referee Kid from Freaks and Geeks now admonishing DeMilo as she grabs the hair of the princess. Oh, just driving her face first across that top rope. Barbie Hayden tagging herself in. Now Barbie Hayden, the queen of 8x10 sales, I believe, in the ring. Right now, the queen of kicks to the guts. She's beautiful, but she's got that vicious side to her. She really likes to dictate the pace of the match when she's wrestling. A very deliberate pace, which she likes to set. And right now, she's, she's used to getting what she wants in life, and she takes that into the ring. But what she wants is to drive her knees to the back of Jules Malone's head with her throat on the ropes. These two men singles competition at the Uncensored Rumble. Yeah, a lot, a lot, you know, many fans considering it to be a breakout match for both of these competitors. That's how you do it! One thing you have to keep in mind tonight, these newcomers, all of them want to make an impact. Ooh. 
for Jules Malone. Barbara Hayden stepped up in a big way in the absence of the champion at the Uncensored Rumble. I can confirm, as surly as she is, Jessica Havoc is in the house here tonight, and she is not in a good mood. Not that this should come as a surprise to anybody. Now Jesse choking Jules Malone behind the official's back, who's already proven to be a buffoon in the first contest. I guarantee you at least a couple of these ladies aren't the type of women that Jessica Havocs likes to see in her presence but right now. No, but at the same time, I'm sure she would have no problem pulling apart every single one of these oh, women no. limb from limb. She looks at these people, these women as prey. That's how she eyes them up. Jules Malone now in trouble right now as Barbie Hayden going to be using oh, upper man. body strength to elevate herself on that top rope. She's got the head scissors applied, bending the rules. But before the official reaches the five count, taking her down with the flying head scissors. Red Bastine style. Very oh, rather interesting. It's a suggestive, yeah, I, I guess you could say that. Suggestive pin attempt by it, Bobby you know Hayden. It does not suggest to me, it doesn't suggest to me I want to win the match. I have I suggestions. I think that's a little bit lackadaisical. Oh, I agree. I have other suggestions. But I'll leave them alone right now. It's Barbie Hayden. Me and her in the bread basket. Yeah, I'm sure Jules Malone wishes that she was being left alone instead. Now she's gonna face Jesse who just got tagged in. Oh! McKay though, or excuse me, Kay, look what you did. See? <laughs> Kay though, you know, this uh, Jules did not get the nickname the Hardcore Princess because she not could not handle punishment. Five minutes in this match, she's probably taking the punishment the last two-thirds of this one. Yeah, I would absolutely agree with that. She's going to need to try and find her second win, perhaps feed off the energy of the fans here, or more importantly, create an opening for herself. Yeah. Maybe hope that her competitors make a mistake, although right now that does not seem likely. She's just got to find a tag. She can't be thinking comeback. Like you said, she's got to think an opening on these ladies and then tag in one of her partners. Well, Jesse K cutting her off with the pass right there. Jules Malone looking for a counter. I don't know if she's going to be able to, well, using leverage to get underneath her opponent to take her down with that backslide, but did not have it synced in the way she wanted to. That could have been a mistake right there, a little bit too much hubris. She should have been looking to tag out rather than continuing the fight. But the Russian leg sweep by Kay right now, as she's just taunting Santana and Alexandra on the outside. Well, another cocky pin out of the team of DeMilo, Hayden, and Kay. But Kay right now, though, she's not worried about what Santana and Bale may have in mind. She's worried about punishing the hardcore princess who's in a whole heap of trouble. Well, you know, Jules Malone is the least experienced competitor of the team. You can't necessarily fault the strategy that once they were able to get her in the ring, that they're gonna target her. She's got the least experience, and therefore, she's gonna have probably the least knowledge in order to be able to find that opening if the opportunity presents itself, which right now, it's not looking good. And if you're primarily a singles competitor, your often thoughts are in six-man tags are not the look to the outside. That's they, true. Your thoughts are that, how can I get out of this situation? That's very true. But right now, I mean, she's got her sights set on her partners, unfortunately. She's a good 10 feet away in the clutches of Jesse K, who's trying to put her away with this bear hug. The bear hug, a move that makes it almost impossible for you to really get any kind of leverage for elbows like that. You can do them, but they don't have the force that you're looking for. It's true, but you know what? That's a very difficult hold to keep applied for a long period of time because of the strength that it requires. Jules Malone, I think she might have telegraphed that clothesline, taking a little bit too much time. Jesse K trying to muscle her over, now slowing things down once again with an ab stretch. We did see her take a couple shots in the midsection earlier on, and now Jesse K is looking to exploit that potential weakness. Shades of Wilbur Snyder. This abdominal stretch, though, is look at this. The hardcore princess does not quit. Well, instead of, instead of looking for a hip toss, oh. she went downstairs, got that waist lock, and go right to that cutter. Thanks. But right now, she can't make the same mistake she did earlier. Instead of going for the pin, she's going to tag out to either Bale or Gary. That's going to be the key to her success or her team's success in this match. Bale right now, she looks very, very much so ready to fight, well, ready to step in that ring. Well, here comes Bale. I think Barbie Hayden will lick a bell from this match, getting caught with a couple of elbows in oh. that spinning heel kick. There you go, I was gonna call it the Owen Hart kick, but there we go. Fair enough. Santana though, oh, oh man, I her up with a huge Savat kick. And now Bell looking to send Barbie Hayden to the floor, all three of their opponents on the outside. And I think the team of Bell, Santana, and perhaps even Jules Malone might be looking to fly. Santana, could she be taking too much time right here? Oh, oh man, fake out, a little bit of misdirection, but you got to look up in the corner, distracting your opponents in the process as Bale goes up high. Oh, oh man, 
having a little trouble getting her footing, but wiping out all three of her opponents on the floor. Uh, How much damage did she do to herself in the process? She's right back up on her feet. The adrenaline of that one, it looked like a violent landing for her own body. Still able to fight back. Well, with Bale on the floor, Santana on the outside. Here we see that right in bomb. The impact right into the pin. Now we've got Bale oh. there. The official's been pulled to the floor. But right now, there's that team up. Team of Kay and Zamilo. This guy needs to stop arguing with the wrestlers and do his job. Where's Papa Georgie? He's passed. It looks like it's turning into a pier six brawl on the outside. Bale going back up. It worked for it once before. Oh! No way they're gonna be able to maintain order at this point. And there we see Barbie Hayden. Oh! Killed her with that DDT. That's gonna be it. One, two, three. Well, there we go, a huge victory by Barbie Hayden, DeMilo, and Jesse K. Continuing to oppress the officials. We like it hardcore, baby. Uh. I got you, Grace.